Okay, we got a really messy video here. I've been wiring in my Harbor Freight forward light, backup light, docking light, PTO light, and then back in here, I've got a couple pigtails to go to my backhoe when it's attached. We're calling those my zombie lights for digging graves. So here's my switch box. I still have to clean up that wiring right there. Zip tie it down. Here is the nightmare. That is the wiring because you have to jump these two grounds together and then have a terminal for the two wires you got coming in. You got to jump this power wire to this wire so it lights up when it's dim and then I got my two upper lights coming in there's a box mounted to the black turn, turn the black uh, light assembly plate because you don't see light through that anyway I just found a couple screws in my uh, assortment of screws so I don't know exactly what size they were replaced the ones that were holding the lens on. The lens is still in there, so it keeps it sealed. Everything works off of, see, I've been messing around with this for a couple days, actually. So you turn your switch all the way over to where your, your side lights are on. Let's get back around here. So, you can flip that on, this side lights up. The reason you jump it is so this side lights up, which would be on if you had dash lights on in a car. So this is my dock light, which is a light that shines down there. This one's my rear lights. And finally, my upper light. Now when I did this, it actually left me a ground, and under this, it's another hot, in case I decide to put something right there. It would have to be really small, but I already have a hot and ground wire for it. I'm thinking maybe a little voltage indicator or something like that might go there eventually. Uh, I got this box off Amazon, these switches off Amazon. I'll put some links below for it. Uh, last thing you do is you push in this little white seal and then it takes four screws to hold it up. I'm going to stop the video and put those screws in.